Hi guys! Today I'll be showing you how to do this pattern that you see here on the back of my shirt. Um, whether you're following along with a PDF or with a kit or just for fun, enjoy the video and happy stitching! Once you've picked out the garment that you'll be stitching, lay it down on a flat surface. If you're using my kit, you'll have one of these stickers and you just peel off the back and put it directly onto the fabric. Make sure you push it down and smooth down all the corners so that it's sticking really well. I recommend using a four inch embroidery hoop for this project. Um, you're going to be isolating the first few flowers, pushing your hoop down and making sure that the fabric is nice and tight and stretched in that spot. Starting with two strands of DMC 3362, you're going to thread your needle and then make sure the ends are together and tie a double knot. Starting from the underside of the fabric, start at the bottom of the first stem. Come up through the fabric, do about a one centimeter stitch, and then come down. Jump about one centimeter ahead, come up through the fabric, and back down. This is called back stitch. Repeat this process until you finish filling in the full stem. As you work on this project, you'll be tying small knots on the back side of your garment to secure your stitches. Once you're finished, your stem should look something like this. Now we're going to do fishbone stitch to fill in the leaves of our first flower. Come up through the fabric, go down about a one third of the leaf, pop back up on either side of your first stitch and come down just slightly crossing over the first stitch. Switch to the other side and do the same. And just repeat that process until you filled in the shape of the leaf. Once you've done both leaves, use DMC223 and use six strands of floss doubled over. Using straight stitch, fill in the petals. Once you have all the petals, use DMC 781, only one strand doubled over to do French knots in the middle of your flowers. Wrap the needle twice, push it back down through the fabric, not the exact same hole you came up through. Hold your floss tight and pull down through the underside. This is a difficult stitch and may take several attempts. For the next flower, the daisies, you'll be using DMC 3053, two strands doubled over to repeat back stitch to fill in the full stem, just like we did in the previous flower. Once that's done, use fishbone stitch to fill in the leaf. For the petals, you'll be using six strands of DMC Blanc doubled over and just using straight stitch to fill in all five petals on each flower. Once 
Once you finish stitching the petals, you'll be using French knots again um, in DMC 781, one strand of floss doubled over. You're going to be doing five French knots on the top of each flower. So once again, coming up through the fabric, wrapping it once, twice, going down right beside where you came up, holding your floss tight while pulling down through the bottom of the fabric. Repeat this process until you've done all five French knots and then move on to the next flower. Once you finish that, you can move on to the snapdragons. You'll be using DMC 500, two strands doubled over. Just make one stitch at the bottom of each snapdragon, um, and then you'll be doing fishbone stitch for the leaves. Once you've finished, repeat the process on the second snapdragon. Using DMC 210, six strands doubled over, start from the bottom of the snapdragon and stitch, straight stitch V shapes, going about halfway up each snapdragon. Once yours looks something like this, switch to DMC 209, use six strands doubled over, and complete the rest of the snapdragons. Great job on the first three flowers. Now it's time to move your hoop. So unscrew it from the top, and then replace it down so that you've got the next few flowers in the middle part of the hoop. Make sure you make it really nice and tight, and you might need to pat down the sticker if it's come loose from the fabric. Next, you'll be doing the sunflowers. Use two strands doubled over of DMC 732 for the stems. Just use that back stitch and the fishbone stitch for the leaves. For the sunflower petals, you'll be using DMC 3820, six strands doubled over. You'll be using straight stitch again and just fill in all the petals on both flowers. Once you finish the petals, you'll be doing a line of French knots around the outside of the uh, middle of the sunflower using DMC 08 one strand doubled over. So just repeating that same process of wrapping twice, going back down through the fabric and pulling it tight. You're gonna be filling in the rest of the sunflower center with DMC 840, one strand doubled over again, and you're just doing French knots to fill in that whole circle. Once you've done that, you'll be using DMC 3011, two strands doubled over to do back stitch for the stems and then fishbone stitch for the leaves of the next plant. Once again, for our next flower, we'll be using DMC 3362, two strands doubled over 
using back stitch for the stems and fishbone stitch for the leaves. For the petals, you'll be using DMC 3713, six strands doubled over. For the flower centers, you're using one strand of DMC 781, and once again, you're filling in with one French knot in each, in the center of each flower. At this point, you may have to reposition your hoop if you're like me and you didn't have quite enough space for the last flower. So again, you're finding a spot to put the new hoop where you can have several of the flowers right in the middle. Push it down, make sure it's nice and tight. And again, if your sticker is starting to peel up from the fabric, press it down. Using two strands doubled over of DMC 3053, Make your way up the stem using back stitch, and you'll fill in your leaves using fishbone stitch. Next, you're using DMC 315, two strands doubled over to make French knot clusters. The next little plant is DMC 311 and you're using two strands doubled over back stitch and fishbone stitch for the leaves. Next, you're doing another set of daisies. Now, this will just be a repeat of these daisies over here, so just do the exact same process. I'm going to reposition my hoop now just to give myself a little more space for the next set of flowers. Next, you'll be using DMC 3362, two strands doubled over to make your stem and using that fishbone stitch again to make the leaf. Use six strands of DMC 519 doubled over to do straight stitch in those little V shapes again and make your way about halfway up that plant. Once you've got something sort of like this, switch to DMC 747, use six strands of floss again, doubled over, and continue up the rest of the plant. I went a little further than halfway with my um, previous color, but do it however you like. Up next is more sunflowers, so again, you're just repeating what you did previously on this flower. And again, we have purple snapdragon, so we'll be doing the exact same thing as we've done over here. Our final flower is also a repeat of the very first flower that you did. So congratulations on finishing all the stitching, and now it's time to wash away the stabilizer. So to do this, um, I've got my faucet switched to warm water, and I'm just rubbing away the sticky stabilizer until it dissolves. Um, you really have to rub it several times, and I definitely recommend washing more than once, as sometimes it can dry a little bit stiff after the first wash. So really give it a good scrub, make sure you've got all that stabilizer off. <laughs> 